What is going on guys, Jay Hayes here today. I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. Not from Vaporesso, but from one of my distributors that I deal with. So before I get into this device, I want you to understand how small this box is. This is everything in one package. It's that small. This is the box, this is the DNA 75. So you can see that DNA is even bigger. So those of you that have watched my Snow Wolf video, we'll put that link right there that have watched my snowball video know that it's a cute device it's small it's dainty and it is it's this big with a built-in battery this kind of goes way past that so i'm going to bring this down now it doesn't come with a rebuildable deck so i can't test that to see how that wicks and how that vapes i can only test what it comes with because i don't have the coils the eucs the uckies ukies ukes coils is what this comes with so let's flip it let me open up the box put some juice in it bring it back up top let you know my thoughts on this minuscule dwarf device taro nano starter kit this i assume is the cheetah version i because i don't i don't know what is going on here the checkerboard version it is green i thought it was yellow some kind of diamond print i'll show you that in a second on the bottom it shows you where it is designed at california it's manufactured by s'more technology the people that invented the s'mores the graham crackers are the people that made this there it's very hard to read on the side there it tells you a little bit about the board about the chip obviously it's proprietary and then there is your euc coil system on the back shows you what is included two mil tank 2500 mah battery as well as 80 watts nice little presentation open this and then another part nice presentation now in this left side you are going to get there's a little thing right here for you to grab and in this is going to be whoops not how you open it it's not how you do it really nice usb cable i love this whole braided shit that they're doing the the ends the male ends don't look really good they look kind of cheap but the braided technology i love because these just don't get tangled little warranty card instruction manual coils are very 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 tiny really good juice boards so there's not a lot of cotton going on in there let's take a look at the manual real quick see if i left anything out these are the kind of manuals i hate I hate these kinds. What is CCW? Cox Cunts and Whoppers. Look, I don't even know. Half these things that it has, these features, I'm not going to get into it because I have no idea what they do or how they do it. You have CCT, CCW, a lot of different configurations. There's a lot, there's a lot going on on this. There really is. I'm just going to get into like the, you know, basics of it. I don't really want to give it too much of a review, more of a first first impressions type thing. I'm going to leave this coil out because I am going to use it. Put that on the side. And then this is the mod. You flip this up, that is it. This mod is so friggin' tiny. Next to the Snow Wolf, here is the Snow Wolf, there's the Taro. About same in height, but it's not as fat, it's not as heavy. And it doesn't have, it has a decent display on it, so it doesn't have the full glass. It doesn't look bad at all. So as you can see here, it's got a nice little hologramish type look to it. It's green and gold, I guess that is. Before we get into the functions of this, let me show you a little bit about the tank. This is the tank. Kind of like the Guardian, but this is not the Guardian. This is the Veco or Vico tank. Drip tip comes out, 510. This right here is your airflow. Okay, so airflow's on top. It's very hard to see. Only top airflow. Take the top off right there, and that is the fillet. This glass does come off. It's a little tight. If you like, if you're going to change a coil out, what you're going to do at that point is you're going to unscrew the bottom. And that's where the coil comes from. So here's the centerpiece. It was very, very, very difficult to separate this piece, this piece. And the reason being is there's very little th threads and I had to actually use a piece of rubber to grip this and turn this and then that didn't even work so I had to use a pair of uh, robo grips to get this separated. And in order to put a coil in, this is your coil right here. It doesn't thread in, it just kind of drops right in there, just like that. Before I do that, I'm gonna take this out, put a couple drops of liquid in it. This is the priming part. The holes on the side of this are massive. I mean, those are really serious holes. Then this is gonna screw back in on the bottom, put the glass back on, right on the side there. And this is a two mil tank, so this will require a lot of refilling. Top goes on nice and easy, it's pretty fluid. Doesn't look horrible at all. You have a couple set of buttons. You have like five buttons, four. Your power button is here, one, two, three, four, five shuts it off turns it on is one two three four five now I don't know about firmware update dates I haven't checked that up and down is real simple and this is in power mode to change the mode you're gonna hold this button down and then that's nickel stainless steel titanium M1 M2 
bypass, which is like a mech mode, mech mod, and then back to wattage. Hold the two down, flips the screen. If you hold the fire in that selection button, it tells you the firmware that is on it. So to change the different, if you hold the mode and the plus button, that's gonna lock the system. Still allows you to fire, but you can't adjust anything. So to unlock it, we're gonna hold those two again. It's everything that there is that you can adjust on this, aside from the temp settings and the coefficient. See, I'm not gonna get into too much detail with that. So let's bring it up top. Let me vape and let you know my final thoughts on this sweet little mamma jamma. All right, guys, so here we are back on top with the Vaporesso Nano. This thing is small. Look, look at my fingers, watch my fingers. You see my fingers? It's gone. There, gone. There, half gone, all the way gone. Tiny, stealthy kit, short, if that's your thing. I'm going to vape this all the way, fully open. It's at 15 watts, I don't, I don't think it's enough. 37.5, see what we got, here we go, here we go. Wow, really good vapor production, really good flavor. No flooding right off the bat. Now when you heard me test it when it was down in the, at the bottom, it sounded a little bit of gurgly. I guess that was just the initial saturation of the wicks. Here we go, a couple more hits, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. Here we go. Should I put a little bit more power through? We're gonna go to like 45, we'll do 48. All right, so here we are, 50 watts. All right. The flavor's getting a little muted now. It seems like when you vape it, see, I'm getting a lot of these check atomizers. Would I go out and go buy this device? No, and let me tell you why. It's, it's entirely too tiny. The Snow Wolf was kind of pushing the boundaries of tiny but staying cute. This is something for people with really small hands or ladies. Ladies love Cool J, LL Cool J. Has nothing to do with the mod, but it, it kind of had a ring to it. But LL, no, that's, that's not it either. This mod is designed for someone that likes a very small portable device. They say it's 80 watts. Is there a way for me to test 80 watts? No, not really, aside from putting something that's 80 watts on here. Will I use this tank? Definitely not. And the reason being is because the coils, I have to have a rebuildable. That's just who I am. The tank isn't bad. You would think that because the mod's so small, they would make the tank smaller or built in, like they did the cup tea. But they're trying to keep that versatility out there, letting you put whatever you want on top of this. I can tell you that if you're gonna vape this at 80 watts all day long, there's no way you're not gonna not have to charge that. There's, it's 2,500 MAH, you know, it's not 5,000. But then again, you're not gonna put 5,000 inside of the small thing. How would I rate this on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the best starter kit or mod that I've ever touched, or zero being the biggest piece of shit? A three or a four. I mean, that's it. There, I wouldn't go anything past four for a lot of reasons. So once again, this is the Vaporesso Taro Mini Nano. 80 watt device, 2500 with the tank on the top. I've got the real. Have you, Jane is out.